question is from S. Miller, UK24. What effect does consistent resistance training have on type 1 diabetics? Mm, resistance training, um, besides diet, uh, and when you compare it to other forms of exercise. Well, it regulates insulin better, right? Re resistance training is the best form of exercise uh, to, um, to positively impact um, type 1 and type 2 diabetes because muscle is a very insulin-sensitive tissue. I mean, the main, the main way your body stores glycogen, for example, is in the liver. The other way is in your muscle. And when you lift weights, you become far more sensitive to insulin and you become better at utilizing carbohydrates. It's way better than cardio. In fact, now cardio does a good, all exercise has a positive effect, but resistance training, because of the increase in muscle mass, has the best effect uh, in my experience on both of these. So here's what happens with type 1 diabetics in my experience. And I'm not a doctor. This is just based off of my experience training clients who are type 1 diabetics and working with their doctors. Now, type 1 diabetics are people who don't make insulin. So they're the ones that have to inject insulin into the body um, when they eat you know, carbohydrates or whatever, and they have to monitor their blood sugar. Typically, they, lose, they have to end up using less insulin is what ends up happening. Um, because their body becomes so much more sensitive to insulin, that less insulin is needed to produce uh, the same result. Now, with type 2 uh, diabetics, their blood sugar is just regulated amazingly with appropriate and proper resistance training. I don't know why resistance training is not the number one recommended form of exercise for all people with uh, issues with insulin or, or blood sugar. Well, it should be. Ex explain. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you how I used to explain it, and I probably used to do it really bad, so you could probably help me out. But I used to try to explain it. And if you thought of your your muscles as like these sponges, and the bigger the sponge, the more the more we're going to capture like carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And any sort of spillage or over that we do out of the sponge could throw our insulin levels off and make us have to take insulin or whatever. So yeah. if I could build more muscle or more sponges in my body, it gives me more flexibility and less likely of over spillage into my body that would cause me to have to take my insulin. Yeah, that's that's a fair way to, I would say, explain it. It's, it's obviously going to be a lot more complicated than that. Right. But I, that's a fair way. But no, studies show that more muscle mass um, is it, far better. It just, it just improves insulin sensitivity quite a bit. Your, your insulin is, by the way, one of the number one uh, anabolic hormones in the body. A lot of people don't realize that it's extremely anabolic uh, in the body. Um, so it's like a you know it, it can be used to to build muscle in the right context and all that stuff. But no, muscle is very insulin sensitive. Um, you know because your tissue, the tissues of your body, kind of they they are sensitive to specific hormones uh, more so than others. Like for example, fat is an estrogen uh, sensitive um, uh, tissue. So lots and lots and lots of fat on your body actually uh, causes the body to, to utilize its estrogen a little differently, can even raise estrogen. So like if you look at like young girls who are overweight, they get their periods much earlier um, than girls who are normal weight. Uh, men with lots and lots of body fat, you'll see higher estrogen levels. Well, when it comes to muscle, you build muscle and you do it the right way. You're healthy uh, with a good diet, not taking anabolic steroids and all that stuff. You're just you're going to notice that you need less insulin. So if you're type one, and here's something you want to pay attention to because this is important now, and work with your doctor on this. Tell your doctor, hey, I'm going to start lifting weights. And the reason why this is important because your right amount of insulin will likely change, and you need to know this because too much insulin is not a good thing either. So whatever your normal amount is as you're lifting weights could very well become too much. So you want to pay attention to that and see, you know, what's happening with your body. So type two, just to go over that one in terms of like the difference between type one and type two. I know type two, so you lose sensitivity to insulin. Yeah. So your 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 body's making insulin, but your body's not responding to it. And right, so which, which all the more like reason to exercise. Yeah, both both cases, uh, resistance training is uh, is a is a phenomenal a fantastic, benefit. Yeah. Mm -hmm.